Hi guys, it's Dawn from Let's Make a Mess Today. How are you doing? I honestly feel like making a mess. I haven't um, made a mess in this book in a long time. So uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to glue and paint and glue some more and um, just, you know, let off some steam tonight. It's just, it's only Tuesday, but I feel like it has been a long week already and I really could use some, um, some arting. So this book, let me tell you about this book, though, first, is actually two magazines. I don't know if you can tell. Let's see if I can find where they, where they, there's two magazines here, and I glued them together. I glued the two magazines together. They're two of the same size, same kind of magazines, and I glued them together. And then I took some paper, and I wrapped them both up. So... There's two magazines here because I figured it was going to be a great big glue book. And I started out with very pink and very, oh, just don't know what I was thinking here, but there it is. And then uh, I must have started this in January. Sorry, I always start off with a yawn. Why, I don't know why that is. Whatever. But in, um, yeah, so I must have started this in January. Did a little bit of collaging here and, um, and uh, gluing. And same with this, this one. I did some a background of um, torn up words and some music, I guess. And some uh, this is a calendar sheet. I always like the way that these eyes are. Aren't that can you see? Isn't that cool? They're just kind of kicking out through. I've done that a few times, and I really actually like that. And then this was another um, a magazine. And then I went ahead and did the butterfly thing. I've done that a few times. Yes, I've done that too. We all we all do the butterfly thing. Why not? It's cute. Right? It is cute. You can't say it's not cute. So. Yeah. And then um, and then this one, she was from a magazine. I've got a couple of images of her. I actually really like her. So I just, it looks like I just sprayed the background and, and I added her. I, I don't think she needed much else. Um, you know, these, none of these look finished to me. This one does. This one is definitely finished, but you know, it is what it is. There's no border. You know, maybe someday I'll go back and do a border thing. And then I did this, um, these are the silhouettes that I've created. I was in like one of my first videos. I made a bunch of silhouettes. This was actually a little girl. And I thought that was really cute. And they matched with the A-frame dresses. And they, I know it's called the butterfly effect. And that's like my favorite stamp behind them. And then I liked her as well with her boots and alternative terms of enlightened form. Don't ask me what that means. I don't know. <laughs> I definitely just put that together. This is one of my springtime springtime um, napkins and I did some stenciling on it. Okay, so basically what I do is I just take a couple of pages and glue them together. And I've done that throughout the book a little bit, but then we have... Here we are. So let's just get started. I'm going to... Grab and glue like Cindy Etter, one of my um, favorite artists on YouTube says. Um, so, and then I'm just going to throw some paint on here and um, some things from um, my 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 box here that I have. And um, and also I have this magazine. This is one of the magazines I saved from before I threw it out. It's all guys. And it's all the nice looking guys, you know. There's this one guy in here. Did you guys ever see, what was that called, with Diane Lane? The Truth, no. What was that called? Diane Lane and this guy. And and I'm all think about it. Oh, my God. Oh, it was a hot movie. It was really good. Um, it's not, like, R-rated or anything. It's just sexy. Um... um Oh, I'll think of it, I'll think of it. But this guy right here, <laughs> he's so good. He's really cute. He plays like this French guy with a French accent. Um, gosh, it will come to me. And the guy from Pretty Woman is in it as well. And I can't think of his name either. Isn't that the first thing that goes to your memory? Like, who's that guy? What's his name? Blah, blah, blah. Um, some trusted? Was that something like called Trusted or... Something like that. With Richard Gere. That was the guy's name. Okay, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Richard Gere and... What was the... That was the... One, I just love the movie. I just can't think of the silly name. Well, go YouTube Diane Lane and Richard Gere. But you're going to find a couple of different movies. Because they've actually been in a couple of different movies together. Probably more than a couple. 
They were in another one. Oh my God, what was that name? <laughs> Here we go again. Um, I, yeah, never mind. I'm not even gonna try to think of that one. I don't know. I don't remember the name of that one at all. But this one was good. The one with Diane Lane. And he was. Uh, they were married, and um, happily married. You know, and they had a beautiful home and a cute little boy. And um, she ran into this. This guy, this cute looking guy, this French guy in a, like a windstorm one day. And he's like a book owner, book, bookstore, uh, sell, book seller. And, um, you know, it was just like such a different life than she was used to. And she kind of just got sucked in. And, I mean, he, you know, how he was sexy and stuff. I mean, she should have just stayed. She sh What happened was is she, she fell or something and he helped her. And he, he, she went in for a Band-Aid. And instead of going in for a bandage, she should have just stayed in the cab and gone home, right? And gone back to the subway, gone back to her little house on in the suburb, you know, and, and, and just forgot about the hot-looking guy, you know what I mean? But no, then the movie would have been over in five seconds. <laughs> so, um, what was the name? The Truth? No. Because it's one word. It sounds like... I don't remember. I'll have to look it up maybe. And I'll tell you what, I'll look it up and I'll add it to the end if I, if I, if I can if I can remember. I'll do a quick thing. Alright, what colors do I feel like tonight? Because I definitely feel like something. You know what I feel like? I feel like maybe I feel like green. I don't do a lot of green. Does anybody ever do a lot of green? Okay, so, 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 so sexy. So there's that guy. And, um, and there's a bunch of cute guys in here. I'm not going to sit here and flip through this magazine, though. So we've got the one cute guy. And there's a couple of cute guys. Like, he's cute. There's a guy, there's two. I don't know. He's handsome, but he looks like... He's always cute. I always smell these because I just want to smell what guy. I don't have... Mmm, that's what guys don't like. <laughs> if they're hot. <laughs> anyway. Oh, he's a cutie. What's that guy's name? That's Sean Connery. Didn't the 007 guy die today? I wanted to find this picture. That's John Mir, right? Yeah, I love him. I like his music a lot. Mm, let's see if I can find John Mayer in here. Oh, I like the long hair, but they look like they're about 10. There he is. I like that one. I just like John Mayer. I'm not a big tattoo girl, but I do like John Mayer a lot. So we'll find something to do with that. So let's make it like a little edgier. Maybe not green. Maybe some um, like metal. Let's do a metal color. Let's do that. Let's do a metal color and some. Um, why am I going with this? I don't know. I really do not know. I have no clue. But why not? Right? Go with a metal color and uh, um, shiny metallic silver, maybe. Now, who's this guy dating these days? They're always dating somebody new, right? Wasn't who was he dating before? He was dating like a couple of actresses and stuff, and then they fell apart, right? Still trying to think of the name of that movie with Diane Lane, Richard Gere, and um, was it Tempted or something? That's what she sure does. Oh, it was a good movie. It's on TV. You guys, have, if you haven't seen it, you should try to find it because it's really good. I feel like I'm too lazy to try to get the thing out, but I guess I better. Oh, I'm gonna get them. Oh, that's 
I'm trying to cut with my water brush. How's that working for you? <sighs> Ooh, I like that. I might try to put some of those flowers on here. Let's do that. can't see. I seriously can't see. Sorry if my head's in the way, guys. I can't see her. Yeah. So how's your day? How's your how's your week going? Mine's not going well. I've got an 18 year old. Needless to say, That's, and she's um she's flexing her muscle right now. And um and uh, I just don't even know how to. I'm you know I was really a good parent up until now. I think I think they can really test your test you. Look at that. He fits perfectly. Okay, so I don't know what I'm doing. I guess I'm just not gonna. I don't know. So maybe there's nothing in here that I'm gonna need. I don't know. Let's put some. Ooh. So it's good I didn't make some metally one on this. That's not. There's that black. How that looks. No, it's just I really want it to be. I'll show you. I want it to be dark and. I did a lousy job of putting this down, didn't I, guys? It's all right. When you get the paint on there, it will help help stick it down more. Okay, let me find some paint. Let's go with. Some of this dark purple in there. Obviously, some black. Here's some black and gray. I know it's gonna be a lot of black and gray, but we'll pop it with something. I don't know what. What's this? Not that. What's this? Ooh, that's pretty. These two would be good to pop it with, right? Amethyst and. Here's a gray. How many grays do I have? I have dark gray and I have ash gray. I'm going to use the dark gray. I don't know. And I'm going to use a brush today. I'm not even going to put, you know, just an old funky brush. Like I said, you guys, I don't know what I'm doing half the time, but I sure do like, like trying. Yeah, I was looking at these two to make some, maybe some stenciling um, yeah I'm finding that when I'm not feeling real like life isn't a wonderful experience like it's difficult right now you know um, you know things don't always turn out the way you think they're supposed to do they you know that's just the way it goes so I'm finding that well I don't want to lay here and feel sorry for myself or any of that. So I'm gonna do this. Now I should have put something underneath that, shouldn't I? Okay. Probably don't really matter. This is I like that look. I don't like this brush, I don't think. I don't want to put some better brushes. So, I know a lot of you have kids out there of various ages and, and in different, um, you know, situations like married, not married, high school, college, home. So, they sure don't come with a manual, do they? I just felt like I kind of had a pretty good handle on what was going on until, you know, then all of a sudden they get a little bit older and they're like, well, oh, they're not supposed to have a life of their own, are they? <laughs> wow. I guess my feelings are hurt because I really thought that I knew her better than then I'm finding out. And, um, I don't know, I hurt my feelings a little bit. 
Mm, be quite honest with you. I think, I think if I didn't care so much, I wouldn't be so hurt. But I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm just a really a little... Um, I don't know what I am. I'm a mom and I'm confused. You know. That's what I am. I use this brush. This white brush. I actually love these brushes. They're, they're cool. Ooh, I like that. I need to put some metal in here. Oh, you guys, I'm not telling you what color. This is like a black. You can get it anywhere. This was like a Craft Smart Dark Gray. Sorry, I'm going to try to be better about that, but... Sometimes I just don't feel like it really matters, like I'm just doing it as an, um, I don't know. But maybe you want to know. Oh, I'm loving this idea, though, actually. It's got a masculine vibe, right? Let me try to find some, I'd really like to find some gray. Not the gray, but I, I need like a metallic. So hold on, let me find a metallic. I really wanna. I have some. It's not metallic. I have gold, but that's. You know, this is more manly than gold, right? These. I thought I had one called, um, War there's Warren Penny, and this is Rich Espresso. I thought I had something called, um, well, this is what I can find. So this is what I'm going to use. And I think I'm going to go with the Warren Penny, just to warm it up a little bit. Right? Maybe this one, because I do want the purple to pop more. Just add a little bit of this here and there. Not a lot, just a smidgen. That's perfect. That's just what I wanted right there. Just a, just a, just a smidge. to just do use this to do a little bit of stamping um, or maybe some stenciling. I think we'll do stenciling with this. Uh, might be too bright. Let's not do that. Let's do this. Let's go with the darker. And then uh, I th think we're going to use actually what I'd like to use is some of those bubble, that bubble wrap that I was talking about in my last video. I showed everybody. Let's see if I can find some. Yeah. Let's use this bubble wrap. Very, very, not very good scissors. I need more paint right there. Kind of left that kind of hanging out there, didn't I? Which one did I use? This one. I don't know why I left that out, so. Hey, Gracie. How you doing over there, honey? Come to keep me company because you know I'm kind of not in the not in the best of spaces tonight. Feeling a little sorry for my woe is me terrible mom self, huh? That's better. 
how young he looks there. I kind of like this picture better, but that's okay. Are these dry enough? I do. It's hot in here, and I don't really much feel like... Okay, so what should we do? The darker one. All right, so what do we do with it? We brush it on there. That's what I did last time. It turned out pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to put some on the piece of... Like right there. And then uh, brush some on there. There we go. Oh, that's awesome, right? Yeah. It doesn't have to be perfect. Far from it. You know me. Let's just make a mess. I like that it's still in the dark, dark looking, and um, I don't care if it's not perfect. I don't care if they're too close together. Oh, this is kind of a really cool little addition. See that? Not neat. See, let's do some over here. Let's see what happens. Look at this piece of paper that I'm working on. It sure is coming out cool, isn't it? I think that this brush made this kind of wet. And that's okay. This is looking pretty neat, isn't it? Woo! That's the fun part. All right, let's see. Oh, yeah, that looks pretty cool. It's dark. Do you guys think I should lighten it up with anything? I don't think so. I'm liking the darkness on there. I just gotta blow dry a little pinch with my blow dryer. I like the darkness of it. that there and well he likes music right he is a music guy so we've got some music sheets so that's good I don't think I want to add any more music sheets but we could add some music washi that'd be kind of cool I just got some from Lisa I guess I have some already but let me see if I have Oh, this is cool. Let me see. I just brought some washi over here. Should we play with some pieces of washi? Not that. Not that. Maybe. This one's got this one's got some possibilities. This is a definite. This has got the blue, but there's no purple. This one's got some. Well, I think these two for sure. They're so similar. Let's just add a few. Let's put John down. Look at that. How, isn't that funny how that's almost perfect? Okay, let's just put John down. Alright. Let's not rip off his head. I've been known to rip off a few guys' heads before. Whoopsie. <laughs> yeah. That'll happen. So yeah, I just like to have a glue book like this, you know. I don't, I'm not going to put this in my journal. My, I don't know why. I kind of like it. I'm not saying it's not worthy, but I don't even know what I put in my journal last time. Oh yeah, this would have been fine in there, but anyway, let's just leave it. I like this glue book. It doesn't intimidate me. I think the journal that I bought intimidates me. Isn't that funny? I wanted to put some roses. I want a rose here to mimic this rose. Maybe paint that a little, just a little pink on that. Hmm. That's an idea, isn't it? Oh, 
I have. Well, let's put some of this down first. So I've almost got all my computers at work uh, rolled out. I'm very happy about that. Very, very happy about that. Oh, I should be glue gluing. I don't really know where those are going to go until I'm just going to stick them down. So Is that upside down? I think it is. That's pretty cool, huh? Darn it, I keep forgetting the washi tape. Okay, and then just maybe one more small. Right here. And then we'll figure out what else. I do feel like I want to put like a pink, I want to color this like pink, and I feel like I want to add a rose on here somewhere. So I'm going to um, pause for a second and try to think about this. I'll be right back. Hi guys, I'm back. Okay, I found some flowers that are going to work. These are like perfect. These are the ones that I made. These Shannon Green five petal flowers with a few of my mistakes included. But I love the the uh, mute, you know, the color, the grunge, grunge look about them, and the, the colors kind of match. So I'm gonna roll, roll with these, kind of just like a little bouquet, and then just maybe one of these little, like subtly somewhere. It's very grungy. I like that about it. I'm not gonna bling these up or anything. I like the the flatness of it. Um, and then I found some words, body language which um, I'm not sure because of the white background. I'm not, I don't think that, well I could always color, I could always add color to it, couldn't I? Because this is actually my favorite words for this. You know? Um, and I could, who says I can't color them? Just like that. And then I would like actually, actually add like that. Okay, I kind of like that because this cause and effect, mm, not so much. Creativity lives here. Mm. Well, you know that's not bad either because he is a very cre he's a creative. Let's cut this little works of art out right there and put that in the word box. Okay, let's just see about this. Oh, it's a banner. Never even noticed that on one side. That's cool. So anyway, you guys, tell me that no matter what, my kid will be okay and we will survive. Um, yeah. I just I could add white dots to that, right? Or slashes. Like so. How come I always like to put stuff at a slant like that? I don't know what that what's that all about. I mean it's probably better not at a slant. Maybe just like that. What do we think? One, two, three, four. Maybe we need another small flower if I can find a small. Another. Ooh, that's too bright. That actually works, doesn't it? Is that too many flowers? 
Looks good there. I kind of like that there. Okay, this just kind of works right there for me. No. There we go. Am I flowering it up too much? I kind of have a feeling that I am. But if I put that there, that looks pretty good. Oh, I like that there. Something about this isn't... But what is it about that? Well, this doesn't have to be here, does it? I glued that, I think, but... Oh, well, that looks better already. Mm, maybe a grungier one by him, that's better. that because then it gives this this look of Okay, I think I found it like so. One, two, three, four, five. So then they're um they're not even. It's not an even number. I like it better like that. So I think that works. What do you guys think? All right, I think I'm gonna go ahead and glue them down. If I had a little white pen, I could I kind of do it. Let's see if I can. Fake it out a little bit. All right. Yeah, I like it like that. gluing. I actually like the way this page came out, um, is coming out, and I think it would have definitely been worthy <laughs> for my book. I do. I love, I love it. I don't, I'm not hating it. And I love the fact that it's given me something to think about other than my not so wonderful parenting experience at the moment. But boy, do we sure love those guys and gals. I have a daughter. And she's a good girl, but... They have to grow and they have to make mistakes, you know? But it's a dangerous world to be making mistakes in. That's what that's what gets me. You know? There's really no room for mistakes these days, in my opinion. There's just no room for it. There's it's just too too scary. Oh, I didn't go around this, but I will with my ink pens my ink tents I'm gonna go around aren't you proud of me I didn't go I didn't go whoop, just this way I didn't lay it kitty corner 
I'm growing. <laughs> so. Time for a newbie. This one's so funky because I um I left it open too long. Just cut off the top and hope for the best. I think I'm going to need to make some more flowers. I really, have, I've sent some of these out on some swaps and I'm using them in my art journals and well, I didn't realize I'd use them so well, but I did and I'm really happy. I love them. I love how this is, I mean, I know that it's not popping off the page and I'm so okay with that. I'm so fine, fine, fine with it. See, and there's little music centers to the flowers too. So how are we going to go ahead and do this? Should we go around him with a pen? I think we will. Darken everything up some more. Boy, I'm in a dark mood, huh? Pink black. It just looks better when you go around it, and not by not using Mod Podge, these these work so much better. I think I'm fine. I've found. Oh, I have to put some water in here. I'll be right back. Hi, I'm back. Okay, let's just go ahead and. I'm still learning how to use my um, my ink tents. I think it's not as messy as I guess I could go. But see if I do that then I'm see, I don't I don't want to get him all messy. See, I don't know. Kinda, I guess that is kind of what I want to do. Maybe I'll try a Q tip. Maybe I'll try a Q tip. What a Q tip. You know, because I think that way I can smudge it and not yeah, that's kind of what I like. I like the smudge. Yeah. I don't even care if it gets on his tea. Is it, isn't that called a wife beater? It's not funny, but that's what they call them. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that's what kind of what I'm looking for. Just a little bit of a definition here or is it the sunglasses that are wide feeders I don't know I don't know I don't want to know it's a derogatory term but see didn't that kind of help out a little bit make it a little bit more grungy So I have to say that I do like these darker pages sometimes, but I actually do like my lighter pink pages too. Um, I'm tr I'm still so new at this that I'm kind of still um, obviously finding my way and making messes on the way. But you got it. That looks good, right? So.
Now, you know, this dries when it dries. It's not so, you know. But I just really like it, how it defines it some. It just kind of grunges up those sides. I really love that. Let's see. See, if I knew how to do this better, I just don't know how to use this brush. That's okay. And I've asked the question before, is there different kinds of brushes that you can get that um, do different things? I don't know. Water brushes, I mean. If anybody knows, let me know. I mean, I'm sure, do they come in different thicknesses? And is that four? Yeah. I like it. It's very dark. He's even got some on his face. Whoopsie. Looks like he's got some scars. Scar tissue there. Let's try at the top and work my way down so I don't keep my, get my arm in it all the time. So when you guys have had a long day and you want to come home and you want to art, what do you go for? Do you go for collage? Do you, are you a drawer? I wish I, I wish I was a, a, a drawer. I'm not a drawer. Don't know how to draw for hill of beans. Um, so I tend to, I tend to go for the collage, I think, and then the images just to um, add to them. And, I wish I was a drawer. It takes time to learn how to draw, right? It's like, okay, how am I gonna do that? But I will try someday. I love those mixed media girls. I've tried it a few times. They come out looking, um, messy like a mess like you know like I drew them <laughs> wonder why so love that see I'm not hating that the water is really dirt dirty too because of the black just so I almost wish it would stay that dark you know that's okay See, some people would go through with white pencil and pen and stuff and do that, but I don't, I don't do that. I just, well, not yet anyway. Maybe I'm not comfortable with it yet. Um, I, I kind of think, tend to be a less is more for me. I think I'm just afraid to do too much, you know. I love to watch people that keep going and going and adding and adding and layering and layering. I just think, it's, I go, wow, how'd they think of that? You know? That's awesome. I kind of feel like I want to go and see what happens in here, though. Let's just see. Kind of light. I think it's because there's uh, Mod Podge on here. I forgot. That's okay. That's okay. Last one. I'm glad I didn't put Mod Podge on this page. Mod Podge sticks. You have to rub either a wax candle over it. Or you have to spray it with some kind of a sealer. You'll notice these will be sticky. I don't think I Mod Podge that, but this one, I guess I didn't do a lot of these because it would be a lot shinier. This one for sure. All right, so what do we think? 
Are we happy with this? I'm kind of happy with it. I'm not, I'm not hating it. I'll take a look. I wish this face didn't get that. That's right, I can get that off there. Oh, and I did, yay, I'm happy. That's better, we didn't need that. He's too pretty to have all that. There we go. What about this? Oh, it comes out a little bit. <laughs> okay, there we go. Cute, right? So again, I'm not gonna put a border on it. I just, I don't know. I don't know the kind of. I don't. I don't. This isn't the kind I want to go. Oh, sorry. Oh goodness. I don't want to go. Ooh, you know. I don't want to make circles around it with a. You know. And I don't want to jenny belly my edges yet. Um, and I because I actually I just like it the way it is. It's done in my my book because <laughs> it's my book right anyway i thanks for, for watching you guys and i hope you enjoyed this and i hope you like john Muir as much as i do and if you can think of the name of that movie oh, what was the name of that movie i still haven't thought of it i don't i think it starts with a t but i can't think of it trust forgiven um forbidden uh, what in the world is the name of that movie with Richard Gere and Diane Lane, who I adore. I even own Under the Tuscan Sun because I love that movie. I just love Diane Lane. I think she's adorable. I see I see it in my head. But I cannot, for the life of me, get it to my mouth. So, anyway. I'm going to go look it up and I'll put... Um, I'll be back. <laughs> and then we'll say goodbye. I'll see you in a minute found it. It was called Unfaithful. How close was I? Anyway, so if you get a chance to watch it, it's pretty good if you like things like that. It was a really good movie. I mean, it was done really well. I, I really enjoyed it. I'd watch it again and again and again. I think I've watched it already ten times. Probably because of this guy. <laughs> anyway, you guys, um, thank you for watching and have a great, great um, rest of your day or evening or whatever it is. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.